Turning now back to the markets, Peter Schiff joins us. He is the CEO and Chief Global Strategy Strategist at Euro Pacific Precious Metals. Good afternoon, Peter. Good afternoon. So, um, you know, I'm going to start by saying you appear right so far. You had said earlier in the summer on this program that the Fed would be unable to taper its program because that would tank the housing market. And the Fed did just that. It surprised everybody by doing nothing. Well, that's well, they're going to keep on surprising people until they get wise to the con. The Fed knows that the only thing propping up this phony economic recovery is their QE. And rather than tapering, the next move by the Fed is going to be increase the size of those monthly QE injections, because like any drug, the more you take, the more you need. And so what is our steps to get out of this problem, then, in your opinion, if the Fed, in fact, cannot taper at all? And so far, it has failed to do so despite comments to the controversy. How is it going to get itself in, out of the problem, the mess, as you might say, that it created? Well, eventually, it's going to have to go cold turkey. It's not going to be just easing up on the gas pedal. It's going to be slamming on the brake. Of course, what the Fed is doing is wrong. They're perpetuating a phony recovery. What we need is a legitimate economic recovery. But that won't happen until the Fed stops the stimulus completely and tries to unwind this balance sheet, because it's the Fed stimulus that's making the economy so sick. But unfortunately, a real market-based cure is going to mean a lot of short-term pain. Unfortunately, the politicians in America don't want to ask voters to endure it. So unfortunately, we're going to end up enduring something much worse. What's going to stop the Fed is a currency crisis, a collapse in the value of the dollar, a collapse in the bond market, and you know, raising the debt ceiling, you're talking about that, raising the debt ceiling is what's going to make that collapse more likely. So in that case, would you be putting more money into gold right now? Gold has been trading down in recent months. It ticked up a little bit recently. Should we go back to precious metals and commodities well, as a safe haven? Well, I never left them. But if you did get out, you should get back in before it's too expensive to get back in. And, you know, the president, they're trying to create a phony crisis over this debt ceiling. The, the problem is they're going to raise it. The, you know, the, the crisis is all yeah, the debt. Nobody the thinks. In, nobody thinks they're not going to do anything, and that, and that's always been the sort of game that we're playing. We're panicked that they're not going to pass a budget. We're panicked that they're not going to raise the debt ceiling. But they're going to do all of that, aren't they? Yes, and that's the problem. You know, the president says we have to raise the debt ceiling because America pays its bills. No, if we paid our bills, we wouldn't have all this debt. <laughs> the reason we need to raise the debt ceiling is because we can't pay our bills. So we have to borrow money because we don't have any money to pay our bills. But when foreigners realize that this is the case, that we can't pay our bills, they're not going to want to lend us any more money. See, that's the crisis that the president is worried about. If we can't borrow more money, then we have to admit that we're broke. Are, are you also concerned that re retail investors have been sort of chasing the markets up now and once again, the rug is going to be get pulled out from underneath them? Well, it will. But, you know, eventually the rug is going to be pulled out from under the bondholders and the holders of U.S. dollars. So, you know, you're better off owning U.S. stocks than U.S. currency or, or, or U.S. bonds. Uh, that's the irony. There are people that think they're playing it safe, but they're actually taking a tremendous amount of risk. If the Federal Reserve did the right thing, of course, the stock market would go way down. But they're not going to do the right thing. They're going to do the wrong thing. And so nominal prices will, stock prices will rise. It's the dollar that's going to crash. Okay, Peter Schiff, thank you so much from Euro Pacific. We always enjoy having you on the program. Talk to you soon. Sure thing. Thanks for having me on. And you are watching Arise Exchange.